The Orion-class battleships were four Super Dreadnought battleships a Euro the first ships of that type a Euro of the Royal Navy. The lead ship, Orion, was launched in 1910. They were the first Royal Navy Dreadnoughts to have all their main guns in the centerline. The U.S. Navy's first dreadnoughts, the South Carolina class, had pioneered this advanced feature. The Orions were quite distinct from the later classes of 13.5-inch gun super dreadnoughts in that the mainmast was placed behind the forefunnel. This arrangement was common in early Royal Navy dreadnoughts but created major problems for the gunnery direction team in the spotting top. Design and development, previous British dreadnoughts had been built very much with an eye on cost. By 1909, the escalating Anglo-German naval arms race had released greatly increased resources from the British Treasury. These ships were much bigger than the preceding Colossus class and cost almost a £1.9 million each to construct. Equals armament equals, the move to the 13.5-inch gun came out of necessity. The final iteration of the 12-inch, the high-velocity 50 caliber long Mark 11, had been unsuccessful. It lost some of its accuracy and was subject to considerable bore erosion that limited its useful life to about 80 discharges. A lower velocity weapon was indicated, and this was realized in the 13.5 inch, 45 calibers long, and with a much heavier projectile. The projectile used was 1,250 pounds or 1,400 pounds against 850 pounds. The shorter range of the low-velocity gun was compensated by increasing the maximum elevation from 15 to 20 degrees. The 13.5-inch was considered a successful design, although its effectiveness was compromised by poor shell design until availability of the Green Boy shells in 1918. The adoption of the all-centerline armament was also born of necessity. The previous Colossus and Neptune classes had already adopted a super-firing pair of turrets aft in an effort to save deck space, and competing designs in the U.S. and elsewhere had led the way in the all-centerline arrangement. From a combat efficiency standpoint the staggered turret configuration of the Colossus's and Neptune's complicated internal arrangements and was generally not considered a success. Unfortunately, the retention of outdated sighting hoods meant the Orions were not able to fire the superimposed turrets over the deck turrets for fear that the blast would injure crews in the lower turrets. Also, the design's relatively high center of gravity gave the Orions a pronounced role in rough seas. Both these defects were eventually cured and the improvements included in subsequent classes of British dreadnoughts. Equals armor equals the armor belt was increased to 12 inches in view of the general increase in gun caliber of potential adversaries. It is typical of British designs where armor thickness lagged behind their carried gun size, this being the opposite design driver of German ships in which armor thickness was usually greater than the caliber of the guns they carried. It is also of interest to note adequacy of ship armor was still being judged by belt thickness, while deck thickness was a secondary consideration. This became more critical as battle ranges extended beyond approximately 12,000 yards as the trajectory of the incoming shells became increasingly steep. History All four were present at the Battle of Jutland of 1916 in World War I, but took no damage. They had a relatively short career, all being decommissioned in 1921, due to the Washington Naval Treaty. Orion and Conqueror were scrapped in 1922. Monarch served as a target, surviving a full day of shelling and bombing on January 20, 1925 before being sunk by fire from HMS Revenge. Thunderer served longest, acting as a training ship from 1922 until she too, was sold for scrap in December 1926. Ships of the Class See also References, Notes, Citations Bibliography, Parks, Oscar British Battleships, Warrior to Vanguard 1860-1950, A History of Design, Construction and Armament. Burt, Ray. British Battleships of World War I, Say a Fourth Publishing, ISBN 978-184832-147-2. External links, Dreadnought Project Technical Material on the Weaponry and Fire Control for the Ships, Orion-class Dreadnought Battleship.